Bob the Answer Man here. The people at Gary claim that their vacuum can cut your cleaning time in half. So we're going to put that claim to the test. We're going to put the Gary against some of the big boys, the Auric XL Gold and the Dyson, to see who can really clean the fastest. We've come up with five challenges using different cleaning problems that are often found around the house. Carl's got the stopwatch and clipboard to keep track. Okay, here's the first challenge. Ready, set, pick up your vacuum with your left pinky finger. Ooh, it's awfully light. <laughs> Gary weighs in at less than either of the other vacs. It's ultra lightweight, designs nine pounds, less than half the weight of the Dyson. That makes Gary the easiest for going up and down the stairs and all around the house, and that means faster cleaning. Score one for the Gary. Our second challenge, maneuverability. Let's find out how low you can go. The Dyson Super High Profile doesn't allow it to get under or around the sofa. You actually have to move the sofa to get under there. That will slow you down. And the Oric, well, there's that snowplow thing again. Gary's under the sofa, and it's getting it all in just one pass. How much time did it take, Carl? That's 10 seconds for the Gary, lots more for the Oric and Dyson. Well, moving right along, it's time for challenge number three. See this cereal box? You know where they are. Oric is at a huge disadvantage here. There's no attachments. So Katie is wasting time searching for the handbag. And Dyson, well, Ryan is having trouble just putting it together. But with the onboard tools in Gary's back pocket, cleaning this mess is a breeze. Sandra's done in just a few seconds. Carl? It's a huge win in this event, and the Gary continues to pat its lead. Our fourth challenge shows who really has the edge. The Oric leaves a long confetti trail, and while the Dyson does a better job, it still misses the mark. Gary edges out the competition with its superior suction power, saving even more time. Carl, how's it looking? Well, Bob, the Oric has a ways to go, but let's call it a tie between Gary and the Dyson. That's right, Carl. And now for the final challenge. Plain and simple, picking up everything in sight. Gary, the no backtrack vac, crosses the finish line first, while the others, well, are left in the dust. What's the bottom line, Carl? Well, if we total up the time it took each vacuum to do all of the challenges, the Gary did it in half the time. Half the time? It's official. I declare Gary the Ultralight to be the winner of the cleanup showdown and officially ultra-fast.